I have way too many games. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And if you saw that intro and said, Pshh, that's nothing, I got way more games than that. Well, I do too, I just couldn't fit them all in the camera. But you know exactly what I'm talking about if you have that feeling. Nowadays, there are so many games out there with thousands upon thousands of games releasing on different platforms every single year. It truly is the golden age for gaming. There are people out there that don't even like video games and they make video games for those people. There is literally something for everyone out there. But it got me thinking, why do I have so many of these games? The vast majority of them I haven't even put into the system yet. I don't have that kind of time. It's insane. It's insane to try to figure out what to even play when there are so many games available to be played. There are so many games out there right now and so many games available and so many games for cheap that it's really hard to get the full enjoyment out of each game like you used to be able to do back in the day when there were less options out there. And a lot of you guys that played the NES and SNES, Genesis, N64, all those kind of systems, there were limited amount of games for them and the games were fairly expensive and didn't fall so drastically in price as they do now with disc based games so that people were not having vast collections of hundreds and thousands of backlog games so they were playing their games and getting a lot out of them. Nowadays it's so hard for developers to hold your attention all the way through on a 30 to 60 hour game because there's another game coming around next week or next month that's going to take your attention away from it on top of life in general just tearing you apart from your games. Games that I get the most enjoyment out of these days are indie games that last between 5 and 10 hours in length where you can get 100% of it complete in that amount of time before you can truly move on to the next game. And I don't want to make it sound like this is a problem that there are too many games available and too many choices for people out there, but it's definitely something to think about when you feel like you're not getting the most out of the games that you're buying. Back in the day, people would buy Kid Icarus and Battletoads and challenging games like that, but they'd play the hell out of them to actually be able to get far and maybe even beat them. Battletoads never really happened for me. But with Kid Icarus, I put so much time into that game just to be able to beat it. And it was very satisfying to finally get to the end and see it through. And for me personally, I'd say that feeling lasted all the way up until around the PlayStation 1. Where I was playing Final Fantasy 7 and maxed out all my characters and put so much time into that game. Because one, it was an incredible game. And two, what else were you really going to play? I mean, Tomb Raider, Crash Bandicoot. Wild Arms. There were a lot of games for the PlayStation 1, don't get me wrong, but those games are still available now, on top of games that have come out for the Xbox, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, modern consoles, and retro games. There are so many games that are available when you put them all together now that it's impossible to focus all your attention on one game for a prolonged period of time. And this kind of leads me to another point that I wanted to make. Are we headed to another game crash? Because there are so many games available now, what's possessing someone to purchase another game next month when they already have a backlog of 50 games that they want to get to from the last 20 months? And on one hand, I fall into that trap myself. With Super Mario Odyssey coming out, I already have it pre-ordered. Can't wait to play it. That game's going to be incredible. And that's putting that in front of the backlog of 50,000 games that I already have that I haven't played yet that I can't wait to get to already. But how many Super Mario Odysseys are out there? How many great games are on the horizon that you just can't wait to play that you're going to put all these other games on the back burner for when that game comes out? And more importantly, how long are you going to continue doing that cycle of buying a brand new game when you already have a crap ton of games left that you haven't played yet already. But that's kind of another conversation for another day. What I want to focus on in this video is, are you getting the most enjoyment out of the games that you're buying today? Sometimes I have to remind myself to take a step back and keep a game in the system even though there might be another game that I want to pop in in front of it or I'm feeling like I want to play that instead, I have to restrain myself and keep that one game in the system until I get the maximum enjoyment out of it. Because for me, that's where my true happiness and passion from video games comes from, is actually getting completely fulfilled 
by playing a good game all the way through. My latest example being Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle on the Nintendo Switch. But to each their own, I'm sure there are people out there that just absolutely love collecting games and blowing through them as fast as they can and putting the next one in and losing track of where they were in the other one. But not for me. I want to make sure I focus on that one specific game all the way through, assuming it's holding my attention, to make sure I get the full satisfaction and enjoyment out of it before moving on to the next one. There will for sure be another video game crash that happens. The problem is nobody knows when that will be. But the reason the video game crash will happen eventually is because there's such a vast selection of games to play in a backlog that people in the future will have no reason to keep buying brand new games right off the shelf the second they come out when there are great games sold at a discount price that they've never played in the past. And you can say, well Jeff, technology keeps increasing and improving and things keep getting better, graphics are better, frames per second are faster and better and everything's better about the games coming out in the future. But to what end? What do you want out of your games? How great do they have to be before you're completely satisfied with the product that you're buying? And for me, I'm completely satisfied with an old NES game just as much as I am with a PSVR game. And I know that's me and not everyone's going to be on the same standpoint as me when it comes to what games they get enjoyment out of. But everyone can agree that there's a point that they get to where you're happy with the game and you enjoy yourself with the game and there's nothing more than that than you need. And while that point may be different for each person, everyone's gonna reach that point eventually. So in a way, I just wanted this video to be out there as kind of a self-reflection for everyone out there who's watching it for what they're getting out of the video games that they're buying and making sure that you're getting the full enjoyment out of it, whatever that may be, before moving on to the next game. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Do you feel like there are too many games available out there, too many games in your backlog, that you're unable to focus on what you want to play or that you're not getting the full enjoyment out of your games because you feel inundated with new titles that are coming out on top of a backlog of games that you can't wait to get to already? Let me know in the comments section below and as always thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.